What's up guys? Uh, no, the cows are not feeding off of each other. I just finished giving them their milk. Uh, Midnight Nebula, I've started weaning them here a couple days ago. They're on half of the milk replacer that they've been on. Um, so it's, it's about that time. For the most part, they're doing okay. Benny, the bull, he's uh, still on full two quarts in the morning, two quarts in the evening. Uh, that's because he was uh, a bit smaller. Even though he's the oldest, he's a bit smaller uh, because he was a twin. And uh, his milk replacer is different, and I have a little bit more of his. So I'm trying to run his out uh, before I start weaning him in about a week or two. But uh, every time they uh, are done taking milk from the bottle, they're always still hungry, which I from what I understand is a good thing. You always want them to be hungry. And so then they always try to go uh, feed off of uh, one of another, uh, their teats. But the funny thing is, well, obviously Benny is a bull and Nebula is trying to suckle on something. I'll let you uh, figure that out. But she's always doing that to try to get some more milk. Uh, I'm going to get them some calf grain here. They're good on that. But yeah, in the next uh, few weeks, over the next two, three weeks maybe, hopefully before the end of June, which was what I had planned, they'll be fully weaned and I will no longer have to uh, get them on the bottle. Um, today, I actually just wanted to film, not the cows, but Bernard and Betty. Pardon my sweat, it's actually humid really humid uh you can see they've started shedding their coat and uh it's that time of year so i'm actually going to help them with that process um so i know a lot of people that well i should say a lot but those that follow this channel uh follow it not because of me but because of uh betty and bernard so um yeah with that being at that time of year i'm going to help them uh speed up the process with getting their coat thinned down uh, they do it naturally but uh, with the heat now, uh, it, it, it's nice for them, I'm sure, for us to go in and kind of help thin it out. When all is said and done, you're going to see it's going to look like I just killed an animal because there's so much fur uh, that comes off of them. So, here we go. Kansas weather I tell you got a lot of rain all of a sudden we get 90 degree weather not a good combo um, if you're wondering what kind of brush I'm using it's actually just the horse brush believe it or not it goes through nice nicely and just allows us to kind of help remove that fur that's already going to be falling off anyways um, the other brush is one that helps remove some of those knots that they have in there for but yeah, you can see this is probably still only half, maybe not even halfway done. He's going to still have a whole lot more that's going to come out, so I'll keep working at it here. And obviously, you can tell he loves it. I mean, I mean who wouldn't, right? You getting pampered like this? I don't know if you call this pampering, but... Bernard. There's Bernard's haircut. So still fluffy, but not as bad as before. Um, 
I could probably do a little bit more, but I think he's okay for now. I'm getting tired. Betty, it's your turn. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, Betty. Come on. Betty, let's go. Might be a little too hot and muggy. Betty doesn't care to come out. She wants to stay in the in the cool dirt over here. Betty, you could use a, a little brushing too. Bernard, you good? 